What up YouTube, TK here, and today we are learning about this, a digital photo tachometer. Now, a photo tachometer is a device that uses light, i.e. photo, to measure rotational speed, i.e. tachometer. These are a really, really useful way to figure out how fast basically anything that rotates is spinning. Now, this one I ordered off eBay. It came in this very nice cardboard box. Very cool. And it even includes a case, which is pretty great considering I got it for the grand sum of $12, including shipping. Now, if we open it up, we find our device inside and it actually feels really rather sturdy. I'm actually rather happy with that. They even include this reflective shiny tape in the packaging for you to use. So all we need is a nine volt battery and we are ready to go. Quality is a difficult thing to determine from photos and videos, but it really does feel quite strong and sturdy. I would have no worries about throwing this in the bottom of a toolbox, really. So how does a photo tachometer work? Well, the clue is in the name. Photo, meaning light, and tachometer meaning a device used to measure rotational speed. The device emits light, in the case of this unit, using a laser. Some of the light emitted by the device is reflected back into the unit where it's picked up by a photo detector. A photo detector is an electronic device that responds to the light levels. Now, when the tachometer is aimed at a black or a very dark surface, very little light is reflected to the photo detector inside. However, when the tachometer is aimed at a very reflective or white surface, more light is reflected back and reaches the photo detector. The device can detect this difference in light levels. To measure rotational speed, it is necessary to have a reflective mark on an otherwise dark surface. As the reflective mark passes the laser beam, it reflects light into the device, triggering the photo detector once per revolution. By counting the number of times the photo detector is triggered over time, the tachometer can calculate the rotational speed of the device under test. For example, if the tachometer detects the reflective spot passing by 5 times in 1 second, that can be multiplied by 60 to give a rotational speed of 300 rpm. At very low speeds, a photo tachometer can actually be quite inaccurate due to the long gaps in between pulses received from the reflected light. This can be rectified by placing additional reflective marks on the surface under test. By dividing the measured result by the number of reflective marks used, the true rotational speed can be gathered. Now, you're not just limited to using this special magic reflective tape either. Obviously, they only give you so much and it is going to run out. So you could use something else like probably masking tape, which is nice and pale and reflective, or a white paint pen, but I don't have either of those. So we're gonna try using a blue paint pen and see if we can make a reflective enough spot for this photo tachometer to work. Let's give it a go. Hmm, afraid not. Now actually, if we get really, really close, we can see that indicator on the LCD flashing, showing that it is picking up the blue stripe we've put on the drill there. So as long as we stay really, really close, Even that blue paint marker is reflective enough for the photo tachometer to work. So in a pinch, your blue paint marker will work, but you're probably better off using white paint or some kind of masking tape. And of course, this relies on the rest of the rotating part being black or otherwise unreflective. It's all about picking up the difference between the dark and the light. That's how the photo tachometer works. But overall, Photo tachometers are really, really useful for working with rotating machinery, and they are incredibly cheap. They're a great way to make a non-contact measurement of rotational speed, and they're quick, easy, and incredibly accurate, you will find. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, TK out.